At this point, we all can agree that President Ibrahim Traoré of Burkina Faso has become a spark of hope for Burkina Faso and the entire African continent, earning widespread trust and support that surpasses many other leaders. Recently, thousands of citizens took to the streets to demand an extension of his transitional period, which is a testament to the positive impact he has had on the country. And now, Burkina Faso's military leader has signed a new charter that will allow him to continue leading the country for the next five years. This decision was made after thoughtful national consultations involving civil society, security forces and transitional lawmakers. It is heartening to see such passion and dedication to building a better Burkina Faso and we look forward to seeing the continued growth and progress under President Traoré's leadership. To fully grasp the significance of this event and how it will impact the country and the continent as a whole, I invite you to listen to these speeches. Let us all be inspired by the courage and determination of the people of Burkina Faso and let us support them as they strive for a brighter future while creating a path for others to follow. After several hours of frank and constructive debate on the future of our dear country, here we are at the end of the work on the national seats. I am pleased in this solemn moment to translate all my pride and admiration in front of so much commitment, responsibility, sacrifice and love for the country, manifested through the contributions and amendments, highly significant, brought to the transition chart. Everything that will allow the different organs of the transition to peacefully pursue the work of reconquering the national territory and the building of a new Burkina Faso, which will carry and embody the aspiration for a better being of Burkina Faso. As stated by the eminent lawyer and man of Burkina Faso culture, Master Titenga Frédéric Passeré, I quote, It takes many hands to lift the roof of the hut so that the house can have shade. To all of you who had in the union of hearts and the complementarity of ideas responded to this appeal of the nation, I would like to express with deference all my gratitude. Through the attire of these seats, we have once again demonstrated to the whole world that the sons and daughters of Burkina Faso have always been able to show discernment and lucidity when it comes to saving the superior interest of their nations. You have thus rewritten a new page in the history of our country, a land with multi-century traditions, which was built thanks to patriotism, integrity, dialogue, constant commitment and resilience to all the trials of its sons and daughters, determined to repel in the union of hearts and forces, as well as in the diversity and complementarity of skills, the barriers of the impossible and adversity. I would like, in the name of His Excellency Captain Ibrahim Traoré, Head of the Nation, to translate to all the delegates all the pride and satisfaction of the people for the results to which we have achieved. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the signing of the amended charter will give to the bodies of management of the transition all the levers of action to complete the work of restoring the integrity of our territories and to lay the foundation for the consolidation of a lasting peace. Marked in particular by the process of returning the internally displaced people to their respective localities.
It is the place for me to invite all the forces of the nation to remain always mobilized and committed to the forces, alongside the forces of defense and security, as well as the volunteers for defense and homeland, who fight on the field of operations with bravery and valor for a total liberation of our dear homeland. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, the completion of the objectives assigned to the transition requires the contribution of the Burkina Faso cities, counties and diasporas. We are embarking on a decisive turn in the history of our country, which requires a patriotic leap forward to succeed in the common work that you have entrusted to the transition. The great trials forge the great men, and we must all work to be men who will mark the history of our country and be the reference and pride for future generations. Before concluding, I would like to congratulate once again all the actors who have spared no effort for the success of the organization of the attendees. In this regard, I would like to make a special mention to the organizing committee, led by Colonel Moussa Diallo, for all the commitment and determination in the execution of the mission entrusted to him. With this, I wish you all a safe return to your respective locations. I hereby conclude the work of the National Assemblies on the transition. Long live Burkina Faso. Of the modified charter adopted by the participants, we retain the following main innovations. The passage of the status of the President of the Transition, Head of State to President of Burkina Faso, Head of State, Supreme Head of the National Armed Forces. The duration of the transition is set at 60 months as of 2nd July 2024. The eligibility of the President of Burkina Faso, the Prime Minister, and the President of the Legislative Assembly of the transition to the presidential, legislative and municipal elections, which will be organized to put an end to the transition. The creation of an organization called CORAG, in charge of defining, following and controlling the implementation of the strategic vision of the country. The suppression of quotas of representatives affected by the ex-AMP, the ex cefob the ex ona and the maintenance of 12 representatives at the ALT, parties and political movements of all confused tendencies. The erection of patriotism on condition of nomination to government and designation at the ALT. A suspension has been intervened, after which the ASSES have heard and adopted recommendations, namely, 1. Increase the number of seats at the ALT in order to take into account certain components of the living forces of the nation who are not there. 2. Increase the number of government members by adjusting certain ministries for more efficiency in terms of the issues and priorities of the moment. Three, involve specific groups in the decision-making sphere, taking into account women, disabled people, and elderly people in all decision-making spheres. Four, accelerate the offer and access of the population to basic social services.
The four points of the order of the day have been exhausted. The Minister of Territorial Administration, Decentralization and Security has proceeded to the closure of work in his closing speech. The end of the national assess. The continuation of the transition has been marked by the science of the modified chat by His Excellency Captain Ibrahim Traoré, President of the FASO, Supreme Leader of the National Armed Forces, on Saturday, May 25th.